7 p.m. to from Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky to Wilmington, Delaware. Thanks for joining JetBlue. Whoa, Emily! Wait, wait, please, Emily, tell me it's not too late. What are you doing here, Tim? This wasn't the Meet the Parents weekend I was expecting. Oh, God, I know. I've been a stupid, scummy bastard who doesn't deserve his parents' love. Clearly. <sighs> it's not going to work, Tim. I, it's not you. It's me. I just can't stand the way you caress your childhood best friend. Sweet, curvy Rochelle. In front of me. <laughs> Look, I, I know, Emily, okay? I know you swore you said that you would leave me because of my obvious unrequited feelings for sweet, curvy Rochelle. But let me tell you something, you are wrong. It's not just about Rochelle, Tim. Even though when it, it was infuriating when you two pretended not to know me during my rendition of Break Free at karaoke night, those e whistle notes are not easy to hit. Okay, well, what else? I'm telling you, we can make this work. I mean, it was one thing for you to flirt with my mom on FaceTime. Oh, come on! I just had to show her how to make those buttons a little bigger. And then I had to listen to you mansplain why Dipsy is the unsung hero of the Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, it's hard being eight feet tall. All the Teletubbies are eight feet tall! <laughs> no, 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 no. Dipsy is a short king, okay? He's stubborn, sarcastic, contemptuous. He goes against the grain of the group. You're missing the point, Tim. You told your parents I was the right girl from the wrong, the right, the wrong girl from the right side of the tracks. Excuse me, I do not have time for the painful, drawn-out monologue today. Could you just buy another ticket and the line for security will be long enough for you to finish up? But the straw that broke the camel's back was when you reenacted the entire set list from Queen's Live Aid performance in front of my Beanie Baby collection. Teddy is too young to crowd sir. Okay, I'll admit that was a bit excessive. I have a life. Back in Delaware? Can't put that on hold, dude. Uh-oh, security. Looks like we might have a rom-com ending here. Okay. Please, Emily, just listen to me for a second. I don't care about your new go-getter job. Or all your friends. Your entire family back home in Wilmington, Delaware. I know we can make this work. We can live off the profits of my family's golf ball manufacturing business. Please, Emily, I, I love you. I love you. I, I love you. I love the idea of being with you. I love, <laughs> I love the idea of being in love with you. I love the idea of Rochelle seeing me in love with you. <laughs> Emily, we can make this work. Marry me, marry me, marry me, marry me, marry me, marry me. The Callaway family fortune is kind of tempting. I'm going to need you to refund that ticket. Uh, you just checked in. I can't refund the ticket. The flight leaves in 18 minutes. Well, d there must be something you could do. Call the president. Call, call Mr. JetBlue himself. Call Tiger Woods. He owes my family a favor. I don't care who you know. You're past the 45-second window. You can't change. It's done. But we're in love. I, I mean, I guess I could move the ticket for the baby. Where else would you want to go? It's Tim's stepmom's house. It's where we feel most at home. Okay. Where does Tim's stepmom live? Mm -hmm. Kentucky. Oh, we're, we're in Kentucky. That's right. I'm never leaving his side again. So you want me to fly you from Kentucky to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, no, that doesn't. <laughs> well, is there anywhere else you could go? I could, I guess I could visit my grandpa in his hospice facility. One ticket to Cairo, Egypt. No, make that two. For Tim and Emily Calloway. We travel as a unit now. Egypt, here we come. I don't think you guys understand domestic air travel. <laughs> <laughs> 